Porktopia warning. Yes, yes, it's true. Do you know what? I was sitting on the toilet having a poo the other day. On one part, I was thinking about how my poo's likely to unfortunately end up in the mouth of a open water swimmer. Then I was also thinking about the fact that, you know, the Beatles released that song Help, didn't they? And I thought to myself, what if they were actually asking for real help? But everyone was just so caught up in the music that they didn't really respond to the SOS that could only be delivered by the medium of song. And I thought, in a way, that's a little bit like being British and not brainwashed by conservatives. A lot of people don't like the fact that I have an opinion on politics. They think I'm just some kind of hysterical woman. To be honest with you, I wish there was the old school prescription way of uh, dealing with hysteria in women. You know, the Freudian way. I don't know about you, but I could really do with a prescription for being wanked off right now. Anyway, I'm afraid it's true. Sunak and Trust were the finalists in what could only be described as a battle to be chosen from the most fucking dense, mad, talentless lineup of Conservative candidates. You know, the other Prime Minister, Boris fucking Johnson, had to basically resigned because he was so wildly corrupt. So the choice came down to Lynn from HR, aka a rejected Madame Two Swords waxwork and tiny little Rishi Sunak. I can't emphasise this enough, she's got no plan and no thoughts in her brain. She's got reverse imposter syndrome. One of the few women on the planet that think they're fucking great despite there being no discernible evidence. Her acceptance speech was mental. She is like broken AI. She's like a robot that's malfunctioning. Watching it made me cringe so much. It made my tits hurt. Don't worry though, she's got no plan for the energy crisis. She's not had enough information from the treasury even though that's her fucking job. And she's gonna continue Boris Johnson's legacy. Hundreds of thousands dead. An economic situation that can only be described as fucked. Death, destruction. But don't worry. If like me, you're considering selling your ass just to pay EDF. At least Truss has said that uh, it's fair to prioritise tax cuts for higher earners. Despite properly taxing corporations being a way to, uh, you know, solve the fact that everything's fucked. This is going to be an amusing time when I'm no longer taking Coco de Mar. I'll unleash the full force of my hell on them. Watch out.